The Bay County student is facing misdemeanor charges after allegedly posting a school shooting threat on a social media this weekend. Authorities say they've determined that the threat was a false report. As News 13's Heather Basley tells us, authorities are taking all threats seriously to ensure the safety of students and staff. This latest local school threat happened Sunday when a North Bay Haven Charter Academy student posted a picture on Snapchat. It warned students against attending classes Monday due to a possible shooting. The post caught the attention of Bay County Sheriff's officials who visited the student's home. We were dealing with a situation at North Bay Haven, Bay Haven that we determined to be a, a false report of a threat. In other words, that's, that's not a situation where an, an individual threatens the school. They make up the threat and then they disseminate that threat. So that uh, student was arrested and charged in reference to making a false report of a threat. The student is charged with a misdemeanor criminal charge. The student could also face school discipline. So it depends on the, uh, the event and uh, what has been found out through the investigation, but it includes uh, not only out of school suspension, up to including alt placement to alternative schools or up to including expulsion. Ford says the sheriff's office takes all threats seriously. We put quite a few additional resources at the schools this morning and, and, and today, and I reached out to my partner, uh, police chiefs, and, and made them aware mm -hmm. we're dealing with these threats. We have the Guardian program, which places armed volunteer teachers and administrators that we've extensively trained uh, to be able to respond for those type of threats. The schools also have monitoring camera systems, locking mechanisms, complete fences, and monthly safety meetings. In Bay County, Heather Basley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Ford says the sheriff's office receives an uptick in school shooting threats after a major shooting like last week's one that happened in Georgia. He says the students do it to scare people or simply just to get out of class.